Hello, uh, now we are uh, going to demonstrate our second experiment uh, that is uh, impedance matching using T type network. Uh, this T type network is also popular uh, for the impedance matching sections where the sower's uh, impedance is if it is small then uh, generally this type of network is going to be preferred. Uh, a, we referred this book uh, called as an RF circuit design by Chris Bovic. In this book uh, basically uh, if we look this book I quickly go to this is a, a soft copy of this book Chris Bovic. In this Chris Bovic uh, there is an example uh, called as impedance matching chapter. This is an impedance matching chapter. In this impedance matching chapter uh, there is a low Q or wideband networks are there. In the, the T networks is going to be uh, described here very nicely. Uh, this book uh, have the one, one problem we are going to solve by using RS Spice. So this is our problem and here is your sowers. Your resistance is 10 ohm. Load resistance is 50 ohm. Now this is a very small uh, input resistance compared to 50. Our job is to see the S parameter S11. Basically, um, if the 10 ohm and 50 ohm they are perfectly in match, so we have to put the network in a such a way that your 10 ohm is giving a power maximum power to 50 ohm. So this uh, T type network generally these are the actually formula. The step one is to calculate the R small then series parallel these reactances you have to calculate. From this reactances you have to calculate again half of the part. Means if you look uh, this is the L network. In L network first and second and and in the second uh, network uh, this this is the two L network back to back they connected so we can get an a T in the T type you can connect like inductor inductor and capacitor this combination you can do uh, or either you go for two capacitor and one inductor or either one inductor and this two capacitor one parallel arm and one series arm so there are so many combinations you can do either inductors in the series and parallel in the capacitor or vice versa or the complicated designs like uh, like this way inductor capacitor or inductor right at the load side so uh, we prepared such kind of design so we start our design from rs spice this is RS spice. Double click on the RS spice. Now uh, take a click uh, L button. Uh, L button uh, on your keyboards. You have to type L button. So we can put here 22 nano Henry. Okay. This is L1, I can copy and paste also here. So two one capacitor I required, so I have to press C button on the uh, keyboard. This is capacitor. We can put uh, 2.2 picofarad. We are going to design this frequency. Uh, our design frequency is 1000 megahertz. Now we are going to connect first inductor to second now this capacitor now press R button on the uh, on the keyboard for your RS that is your source resistance which is very small that is 10 ohm and uh, then the R again plus R say control R to rotate it so double click, say 100, uh, no 100, this for 50 ohms we are going to tune it. So again take the wire,
okay this is wire then press zero button on the keyboard for the ground so that is a zero button so here we will check whether the connection is okay or not okay one more extra wire is there so we will delete this wire you can add just like this way okay. we stretch one more wire for our second port and here the port number 1 so press alt n from the keyboard alt n say input port again alt n for second port that is out okay so now we have to check the input uh, port written loss uh, this is our actually matching circuit uh, there is a uh, t type of network first inductor second inductor and this capacitor and uh, we have to check um, the written loss of this things so we go to test go to network analysis click on setup go to uh, node first only say input okay go to output side this is the cartesian amplitudes you have to set and you have to set uh, as parameter basically and say this db is okay degree not required so say run after running the circuit we are getting the results also we can get the smith chart which is very close to one we can easily observe the smith chart which is very close to one okay we have to give the sweep side basically because only single point is there we require a curve then in the connection after connection go to sweep enter the frequency megahertz 100 megahertz so 1.3 gigahertz go to linear go to megahertz say run okay now you can see this graph is coming so this is the matching graph which is crossing to your uh, impedance perfectly impedance match circuits so uh, this is the in this frequency we are running even you can click on this when you click on this automatically a frequency at uh, the real r and uh, imaginary component r plus jx that is shown in here right now this is 1.2 gigahertz in the upper side uh, this is the 100 megahertz even you go to this side and click uh, it is something around on 73 ohm here it is 25 ohm here that 1 gigahertz you can easily see the 50 ohm normalized or you can go in the uh written loss okay we go to output say cartesian say s yes parameter okay so db and say run okay so now see the s parameter graph so s parameter graph is tuned to your 1 gigahertz with the very good return loss that is an a 22 db return loss you are getting exactly at a 1 gigahertz it's very close to 1 gigahertz basically you can go there and put the marker and uh, you will get the matching around uh, 980 very perfectly at 1 gigahertz your matching is minus 16 db Uh, so we easily achieve the matching by using this minus 16 db it shows that the matching is achieved uh, due to this circuitry even if you change the value like uh, suppose if i am not getting in the market 22 nano henry then if i suppose place uh, 20 nano henry and say uh, run so i am getting very really sharp peak at this side okay so uh, i think after tuning to from 22 nano henry to 20 nano henry the theoretical value is 22 but uh, uh, here you can easily see that return loss is very close even we can observe on the smith chart also uh, go to smith chart output button say run oh that is exactly you can see pretty uh, 
close to uh, the one means the impedance matching circle of this S11. Okay, so here uh, you can see also the observe the Z parameters, uh, Y parameter, H parameter. In the sweep side, you can vary the frequency. You can check the bandwidth of that tuning circuit and the node you have to select the single node. So uh, basically, the next node of the 50 ohm is already connected. So you have to looking from this side. So you are looking exactly the 50 ohm uh, is there. So this is the actually uh, T-type network uh, demonstration. Thank you.